But you guys, in this video, we're going to be installing Kali Linux on a virtual box. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've headed over to a Kali Linux download page and we're going to download from one of their links here. Now you can choose which one you want to download uh, at any time, download the latest version. Once we've got that downloaded, we are going to go to our VirtualBox virtual machine, create a new virtual machine and type in here Linux or select Linux and type in here Kali Linux or whatever you want to call yours. But basically that's what we're going to call it. Then we're going to select here uh, the Debian 64 bit and then we can do memory size and I'm going to bring this memory size up to around about here depending on how much memory you've got on your system. Now once we get from here what we're going to do is select the file size and you can choose whatever you want here. If you want to do a larger size you can do. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to go into the settings for our Kali Linux. Go to system and we're going to put the tick in network then go to the processors tab and I'm just going to up the processors to two processing cores and then we're going to go right the way across to the virtual memory to 128 in the storage area here is on empty at the moment you can see so what I need to do is select the CD icon and select my Kali Linux ISO which I just downloaded once you've got that done you can click on uh, OK here don't need any more of these uh, settings changed now what we're going to do here is go to start and this will start up our virtual machine and start to uh, boot to our ISO. So let's go ahead and uh, start to install here. I'm going to go down to where it says uh, graphic install. Click on this one here. And this will then start the installation process. Let it just uh, mount and boot up here. So it will take a bit of time to just be patient. There we go, choose which language you want to use. I'm going to choose United Kingdom here. Click continue. Next up, we're going to choose and configure our keyboard. I'm going to choose British English and click continue. And this will start to load the installer and all the components from the ISO or CD, in this case, a virtual CD. So just let that do its thing. We'll take a bit of time. It's going to try to detect some network settings here. Just let that go through the process here of configuring the network. And if you look at the top left hand corner, it tells you exactly what process it's doing right now. Now to configure the network, you can give it a host name. I'm going to leave that as Kali. And also to configure your network domain name, you can put it in here. I'm not going to put it on the domain, so we're going to leave that blank. Now we need to give it a root password for your machine. Make sure you give it a nice strong password. This is only four characters, which is not strong. So always give it a strong root password and then click continue. This will go ahead and start to detect the disks and start to uh, set up our partition on our disks. Now you can see here we have a bunch of options. I'm going to use the entire disk here and click continue and select our virtual box here and then click continue. Now all files on one partition recommended for new users or you can use whatever you want here but I'm going to be using the new users version and you can see here it's already set it all up for us our primary and logical and our swap file and finish partitioning and write changes to the disk. You can see all the settings have been put in here for us. Now we've got the option uh, to write the changes to the disk, say yes and then click on continue. This will start to prepare everything and start to install the system onto those drives. So just give it a few seconds to let it go ahead and install uh, Kali Linux onto our drive. I've speeded this process up so yours will take a bit longer uh, to do, okay? And that should now nearly be finished. There we go. And we can move on to user network mirror I'm going to leave this as yes and then click on continue and then you can see here configure the package manager so I'm just going to click continue here and this will then start to configure the APT so let that uh, go ahead and do that for us 
may take a bit of time so be patient and uh, once this is complete we can move on to the next step so this will start to install the grub now as you can see install grub loader so I'm going to let that go ahead and do that and this may take a bit of time so just be patient here I'll try and speed this up as much as I can there we go so install the uh, grub bootloader on the hard disk I'm going to say yes here and click continue and now we need to select uh, the hard drive so we're going to select our virtual machine hard drive and click continue this will now start to install the grub bootloader on there so to just let that go ahead and finish off and that's just finishing off and then it's going to restart so let that restart and we should now see our menu there we go so now we can click on a collie up the top and uh, push enter there we go and that should now start to load up for the first time so just let that boot up may take a bit of time depending on how fast your machine is but remember this is on a virtual box so now we need to put in our password here we need to put root and we need to put in our root password that we created earlier on and there we are so there you go there is the menu system here you've got a bunch of other settings here you can mess with you've got your wireless attacks here your reverse engineering sniffing and spoofing and all that sort of good stuff on your freshly installed Kali. Now what I'm going to do here is install our guest additions. So what I want to do is go to the system tools here and go to our terminal. Once you're in your terminal what you want to do is type in here apt-get space update and this will update our Kali Linux so just let that go and then what we want to do next is type in our next command and uh, what we want to do here is type apt dash get space then install and then dash y and then space virtual box dash guest and then dash x11 and then just push enter and let that go through and that will install a bunch of stuff onto the system and once that's finished installing we can then reboot the system now I'm just going to type reboot and let that reboot and just let that boot up and we'll be able to change the size of the screen once that gets to, to the desktop be grayed out at the moment because you need to get to the desktop first and then we can change the screen size to whatever you want and it will be 1920 by 1080 so let me zoom out here type in our password going to go root and our root password to log into our OS there we go and now I've just changed that to 1920 by 1080 there we go so now we can uh, see our full screen now for obviously if you wanted to do a larger screen you would just change that to a larger screen depending on the size of your monitor and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can install Kali Linux onto a virtual box my name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos Thank you.